Mark. Get set. Go! Toss those over there. These two teams are making their partners very nervous. Trying to toss balls inside precariously placed buckets. Whichever team has the best game will soak their best friend and get 20 bucks and control of the show that stretches friendship to its outer limits. We're looking for $20 and control around round one over here. We're losing the balls. They're getting away from us. Who's going to get it down? And who will be first to do so? Going for round one control and $20. And it looks like the red team may be getting there before the blue team. Yes, they did it. Congratulations. You can stop right there. The red team gets $20. And super sloppy double dare. And now, here's your super sloppy double dare host, Mark Summers. Thank you, audience, and thank you, Harvey. Welcome to Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course and in the process win eight fabulous prizes. Two great teams, great names as well. Let's meet them. To my right, they call themselves the Cosmic Zoinks, Becky and Jeff. <laughs> Becky wants to work with gorillas. What is it that you'd like to do with gorillas? Well, I want to go to um, Africa and study like Diane Fossey. Did you see the movie Gorillas in the Mist? Yeah. That was probably your inspiration. And Jeff wants to be in the Air Force. You want to be a pilot? Yeah. And uh, what kind of planes do you want to fly? You want to be uh, like a commercial pilot? F-15. All right, good job. And to my left, a team that has $20 on the board, they call themselves the Dead Pathologists, <laughs> Sherry and Brett, okay? <laughs> now is it Sherry or Cherie? Cherie. Cherie, okay, I'll get that right. And uh, it says you want to be an attorney. Do you have any uh, person in your family who does that? You're modeling yourself after? No. You just want to go to school forever and make lots of money in the process, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And Brett has this terrific uh, talent. Uh, tell them what you can do, Brett. I can burp. <laughs> well, we can all burp, but it says you can burp and talk at the same time. Mm -hmm. Could you demonstrate this for me? Hello. Oh, okay. This, <laughs> I hope all of you having uh, lunch or dinner at home really appreciated that. All right, we will carry on with the rules here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. And uh, they go something like this. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always, always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the Cosmic Zoinks. The dead pathologists have control with this $10 question. In what E.B. White book is the main character a little mouse named Stuart? Would bring you to 30, or you could dare them. Dare. Now we're 20. It's an E.B. White book. Now what main character has a little mouse named Stuart? Stuart Little. Stuart Little is right. You've tied the game. You have $20 over there. The answer was actually in the title on that one, if you listen closely. Okay, Becky and Jeff, on Growing Pains, what's the TV first name of the youngest member of the Seaver family? Would give you the lead by 10. Quickly before time runs Dare. Out. Dare. Now we're 20. Do you know the youngest member of the Seaver family on Growing Pains? Or you could double dare them back. Ben. Ben is incorrect. It's Christine. Put $20 on the board over here. And once again, the Cosmic Zoinks have control. Budapest is the capital of what country? Would bring you to 50, or you could dare them. Dare. Now we're 20. Budapest, capital of what country? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Okay. Are we going to take a physical challenge? Physical yeah. challenge. Okay. It's hungry. And here's our first physical challenge of the day for Becky and Jeff. Step down right over here. <laughs> Becky, Jeff, you know, we do uh, various things with Hungry Jack. Occasionally, Hungry Jack actually catches pancakes. But today, he is an Old West type person. And uh, we have some spitballs over here that uh, Dave is going to be showing you. Uh, only on this show can you actually see spitballs. And we're going to demonstrate what this looks like. Uh, we have a spittoon over here. Robin, could you put the spittoon on your head? And uh, why don't you have a seat right over here? Because I want you folks to know exactly how this happens. You have to start from behind the mouth. And Dave, why don't you demonstrate? You have to make spitballs and see if you can get one. Right in there. That's exactly what you have to do. Good job. So who wants to make the spitballs and who would like to catch them? I do. I want to make them. You want to make them? What a nice guy you are. Then you get to go all the way over here and uh, think about gorillas and uh, the lifestyle that you'll have with them. While we come over here and you reach down in those buckets and make the spitballs and toss them in this direction. You have to have four, actually four in 20 seconds inside this spittoon, okay? So you need to get four. That's very good, Robin. You do that so well. Do you do windows, Sue? Uh, okay. We have 20 seconds to catch four. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Reach down in there and make those spitballs. Put 
forty dollars over here, and uh, I'm sure you've never had an experience quite like that. We're gonna come back, clean up this young lady, and play lots more super sloppy double there right after this. Join us. Welcome back to Super Sloppy Double Dare. We found out that the Cosmic Zoinks tried to make spitballs and toss them to their partner. One out of four did not do the job. The money went over to the dead pathologist. They have control with this $10 question. French designer Jean-Charles Costelet has created a winter coat made from what? Acrylic banana peels, celebrities' underwear, or teddy bears? Or you could dare them. Quickly before time runs out. Don't want to lose control. Dare. Now we're 20. This French designer, he's created a winter coat made from what? Acrylic banana peels, celebrity underwear, or teddy bears? Double dare. Now it's worth 40, or do you want to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. Okay, it was teddy bears, and we have a $40 physical challenge for Cherie and Brett right over here. Step down in this direction. Now, Cherie, I notice that you are the only person who's been slopped up, so I'm going to save your life on this particular one. You're uh, going to move down in this direction before they wipe you out altogether, and uh, I want you to come right over here, and, and you stay right here. We're going to come back to you. You come over here because we have some tomatoes, and when I say go, I want you to take these tomatoes that are uh, a little bit ripe, as you can tell, and you come over here and put as many tomatoes as you'd like on the conveyor belt. You can put one, you can put two, you can put three. Whatever you want to do, you put them over here. And when we turn this on, these tomatoes will start to go up there towards your partner, okay? And what your partner has to do as you're doing that is you have to catch the tomatoes, okay? And you have to have control of six. Now, you can have one under this arm and one under this arm, okay? And then you have to have one in each hand would be four. And then one under your neck would be five. And you have to take the sixth one and put it anywhere that you can like, okay? So you must have control of six tomatoes in 30 seconds or less as they come down to the side. You you understand what we're doing? Okay, six and 30 seconds, $40 at stake. Let's turn that on and see if we have it going in the right direction. We do? Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Here come the tomatoes. Up the conveyor belt. And you need to be catching them. Yeah, there's, there's one. That's under one arm. And there's the other one. But it doesn't have control. Right? Get it under the other, other arm. You want to put one under your neck as well. $40 goes to the other side. We can stop that. This poor man's getting pummeled with tomatoes. You can drop those and let's head up back here. And we have a real seesaw battle today here because $80 now on the side with Becky and Jeff, $60 on the dead pathologist side, $20 separating our teams. Here's another $10 question. What's the title of Debbie Gibson's second album? Well, you can do it. Electric them. Youth. You are right. Add another 10. You now have 90. Good job, Becky. I would like to know what article of clothing is a fedora? What article of clothing is a fedora? We bring it to 100. Dare. Now we're 20. What's a fedora? Well, you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 40, or we're gonna take another physical challenge? Physical challenge. Uh, it's a hat, something that you wear on your head, and let's come down quickly for a $40 physical challenge right over here. And I'm going to ask you to start off right over here, and uh, we have a container coming out that we want to fill up, and the container will be over here. We're going to put that down on the floor, and we're going to put this headgear on you. And when I say go, what you're going to have to do is wear this head cup and turn this little dial here. What you'll do is you'll actually push down on it, and when you push down on it, we'll have a vat of slime that will come down on top of your head, okay? And when that comes down on your head, you want to fill this cup as far as you can. And then you want to come over here to your partner who will be down on her knees, and can you get down on your knees with this funnel going down in this direction and you want to fill this container past the line. So the slime has to go from your cup into the funnel into this container past the line in 30 seconds. And if you can fill it past the line, we're going to give you $40, give you a big lead. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Pull that down. Pull, pull it down. You want to get it on your head. You want to get it on your head. Okay. Now you want to put it in there. And not enough in there. Keep going. You're going to have to keep doing it. Get it in there. Yes. You need to fill the cup longer than that. And you're not getting it down just enough. Past the line, and so far we don't see it going in. We are down to 11 seconds, and you're just missing that funnel like crazy. So far, it's not working, and we're making a mess out of the stage and out of our contestants. Well, time is up, and you can stop right there. Whoa! 
Oh, that's a new dance, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move up here, give the $40 over here to the dead pathologist. They have $100. And Becky and Jeff are slipping and sliding back up here on stage. And that sound means it's the end of round one. And with $100, the dead pathologist had the lead. We have $90 over here for the Cosmic Joints. We're going to come back with a $40 concept that's still anybody's game. We have a super sloppy double there obstacle course coming your way right after this. Come back and join us, okay? That is really weird. You're right. Welcome back to round two on Super Sloppy Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And if perhaps you hear this sound right here, that means the game is over. Going for $40 in control of round two. This one is called Supermarket Sweep in honor of that old game show that I, I think was a Joe Gargiolo hosted that. Somebody hosted that. Uh, it wasn't, was it Dana? No, I don't know. Anyway, uh, you are in this cart. Does this remind you of being a, a young boy at home with your mother going to the supermarket? Yes. Yeah, I had a feeling it did, but you're going to have more fun here because you have these brooms. And when I say go, you both have to go across the stage and sweep up some of these uh, articles of uh, stuff that you might find at any uh, supermarket. And the first team to get three articles in their huge shopping bag gets $40 in control of round two. Seesaw battle today. Who's going to take the lead? We'll find out now together. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go <laughs> And we're going to add another $40. Let's move up here. That didn't take any time at all. Okay. Cherie and Brett now have $140 on their side of the board in control of this $20 question. Add the number of amendments in the Bill of Rights with the number of judges on the Supreme Court. And give me the answer. But bring it to 160 there. Now worth $40. The number of amendments in the Bill of Rights added to the number of judges on the Supreme Court. Double there. Double now worth 80 or we're going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. Uh, the answer is 19, as a matter of fact, and we have an $80 physical challenge over here for Sheree and Brett. Come on over here. We could have a lead change, and this time we are going to play uh, Wet the Birdie. And you see Robin on her way over here wearing these birds. And uh, <laughs> the lovely Robin, you've outdone yourself this time. Uh, somebody has to wear those, and uh, you look like you'd be perfect to wear those. So we'll go over there, and we'll take that off of Robin and put it on you. And over here, we are going to make you a bird watcher. And every bird watcher, of course, must have some binoculars on. And then a pith helmet. And boy, you look terrific with that. Now, when I say go, I want you to step behind this line and take the hose and I want you to spray those birdies off your partner, okay? And uh, you must not flap your wings over there, Cherie. You must keep your wings straight out, and you must knock five out of those eight birdies off the branches in 20 seconds or less, and if you knock five birdies off, we're going to give you $80. Otherwise, they're going to have the lead. On your mark, get set, go! And spray those birdies! goes to the other team. Nice try there, gang. Birds wanted to stay at home today, I guess. And he got to hit those babies just right. So now, the Cosmic Zoinks have the lead with $170 in this $20 question. In baseball, what happens if a batter hits a ball that goes over the fence in fair territory on one bounce? Okay? Everyone goes home, it's awarded a ground rule double, or the pitch is taken over. It's worth 20 or you can dare them. Ground rule double. It's a ground rule double. You're right. At twenty dollars, you now have one hundred ninety. Good job, Jeff. Squiggy Squigman and Lenny Kosnowski were characters on what old TV situation comedy? Would bring it to two ten. What was the question? Squiggy Squigman and Lenny Kosnowski were characters on what old TV situation comedy? The Fern and Shelley. Right again. Now up to two hundred ten dollars. That means at the end of the game with $210, the Cosmic Joints have won today's game a super sloppy double dare. Congratulations. $105 a piece. More important, that trip to the super sloppy double dare obstacle course. Well, Cherie and Brett, you played a great game. And Brett, I'm so glad I met you because I never met anybody who could burp and talk at the same time. Cherie, good luck to you as well. $70 a piece. And Harvey, what lovely parting gifts do we have for them? Mark, today we'll send them home with a funny little word. So we're going to put you up with the amazing word.
I'm here with Becky and Jeff. They currently have $105 a piece, and they are going to win all eight prizes in 60 seconds or less, right? Yeah. How do you feel? Awesome. Oh, good. I'm glad you said that. Number one is Pipeline. You're going through this one. You go through one, and then you go through two. And as you go through three, come on over here. You'll be finding that your partner will be waiting here saying, Pass the flag! Pass the flag! Pass the flag! And then you'll pass it, and then you'll win this. Taper Flex Competitor Nylon Vest and the Red Kneeboard. Dual retractable fins. Controls are on top of the board. The ultimate kneeboarding experience from Wellington. And then it's time for bubble bath. Diane, if they only knew what you did, huh? Anyway, you have to crawl up here and get from one side to the other. Now, if you fall in the pit, get back up on the rung that you fell off of, then get over to your flag, pass it, and win this prize. It's the Ray-Ban Smart Start Collection from Bausch & Loam. They're what's happening in kids' fashion. Serious sunglasses for kids who want to look their coolest. Available in various styles and colors. And I believe you get snowstorm, don't you? And you get to go through this area, and all that stuff will be flying around, and you want to jump up and grab that flag. Then you want to come all the way over here and stick your hand out where Jeff will be waiting, and then you'll win what, Harvey? Well, they'll bring the excitement of soccer into their home with Monterey's baseball soccer. Fast action fun for the whole family with Monterey. Everyone plays. Sewer shoot is next. You have to crawl through this tube and pull on that blue cord. And up above is a bucket. And down will come a flag and all sorts of good-looking gack. And then over here is where you will end up. And your partner will be waiting. You'll pass that flag. And what's the prize now, Harvey? It's a new buy. Fusion 500 shifts you into the future with five speeds, radical tires, and space-age features. Fusion 500 from Kent. The future is now. Number five is Mount St. Double Dare, and they tell me one of these may explode. I'm not sure. Oh, that one. Holy cow. Happy New Year. <laughs> and uh, this is the one where you want to be because the flag is up above that. That will explode as well. It won't hurt, I promise, because once you get up there and grab that flag, you win this wonderful prize. It's the Nintendo Power Set with the exciting power of You and your friends will run, skip, and jump your way to victory on the ground, Nintendo. When you saw times running out, did you get nervous? No. See, some people get nervous on this one because they figure it can't be done, but it's really not that difficult. It's raining ping pong balls. As you come over here, you will see the flag. Take a look. You can really see it there. Keep in mind where that is because these balls will fall down on top of it. Reach down and get it. Pass it to your partner who will be waiting on the other side. Then you go through and then you win this. The Baldwin Explorer portable mini electronic keyboard with 16 solo voices, 16 automatic rhythms, and built-in stereo speakers. It's from the Baldwin Piano and Organ Company. Number seven is in one ear and out the other, and you get to crawl through that ear and come all the way out over on this side, and there is a flag in there. It's actually right there where you first come in, and there's all sorts of chocolate and earwax, and once you have that on your body, don't let it slow you down. It should speed you up, because you want to get to the next obstacle, and then you want to get to this. From Casio C and S Any questions? Nope. How about you? No. They're very confident. That's good. Inside out is number eight, and there is a flag in one of those balloons, and I think I know where it is. I hope you think you know where it is, and I hope you can pop it, because if you can do all these in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, what's the grand prize today? A And uh, we're going to come over here, they're telling me. We're not going there. We're going over here. Who knows where we're going? We're going for 60 seconds. We're going for eight prizes. <laughs> Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go on
consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare gets a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Super Sloppy Double Dare.